Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be taking a little look at a handful of gear, bushcrafting equipment that I can't live without in the winter. So without any further ado, let's jump into about six items that I can't live without in winter bushcraft. Okay, so the first one doesn't really fit in the frame, but it is worth talking about, and that is snowshoes. Now, I feel like I talk about snowshoes a lot when it comes to winter bushcrafting, but it's because I can't stress enough the importance and use of snowshoes. And right now, in Alaska, we're sitting at about two and a half to four feet, depending on where you are, of snow on the ground. And so, realistically, you could have the best winter setup, you know, the best insulation, the best shoes, the best jacket, whatever. But if you can't actually walk out onto the snow, you aren't going to be able to make any progress or go anywhere. So having snowshoes or skis or a snow machine, all of the above, preferably, uh, realistically, without them, you can't make any real progress, and you can't make, you can't go out and explore and enjoy the wilderness without them. So these are my tubs, Aurora 25. Might actually be stepping up to 30-inch tubs, snowshoes in a little bit, but for now, these 25 inches work for me pretty well. And either way snowshoes have to be number one because like I said they help you get out into the woods out and explore so without them you just can't do any of that okay so the next one and I will have a video covering these in more depth are actually going to be at speaker mucklucks now these are pretty new to me but I have been running them outdoors and I know a lot of people that also run them outdoors and whether it's the Yukons or the Arctics either one of them these being particularly the Yukons, these are some of the best mucklucks you can get out there and some of subsequently the best winter shoes made. And this company is pretty small, pretty unknown to the mass market, but if you are truly looking for really cold weather rated mucklucks or shoes to wear outdoors, you will be hard pressed to find a better shoe or a better company than Steger and their Muck Lux. They really are quite warm and uh, as you guys can see in here, they have a very thick, very, they have a very thick wool kind of a booty or oversock in here wool felt that keeps you extremely warm. So Steger Mucklux, whether like I said it's the Yukons or the Arctics, they're the same basic principle on the inside. They work extremely well and I cannot recommend these for outdoor bushcrafting enough. So these are number two. Okay, the next one is a pair of really solid mittens. Now, everyone has their own brand or preference. I prefer these Manzella Mastodon mittens, primarily because they're fairly affordable, and really they are super effective. They have 300 gram fill of, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's insulate on the inside, and whether you're using these things at zero above or even negative 30, these work very well. They are very comfy and very cozy on the inside. They definitely make your hands feel right at home, and the biggest thing I love about them, because they have such a high degree of fill, even if you're taking your hand out, doing stuff, you know, you have to grab something or maybe carve something real quick with a knife, your hands get cold, you put them right back inside your mittens and they start to instantly warm up. And so usually I like to run these uh, mittens in conjunction with a pair of mechanics insulated gloves. So I'll wear the gloves to do fine tasks and fine skills and then when my hands get too cold or when they start to feel cold, throw them in the Mastodon mittens, let them warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once they're nice and toasty, take them back out, put them into the gloves, and I can continue to do fine tasks. So these guys, because they're a super high fill uh, mitten, they warm your hands up very well, and they work very well. Even if you're just trying to stay warm, you can throw your hands in these and just walk around, and they work very well. So the Manzella Mastodon mittens are some of the best I've had experience with. Okay, so those were the three kind of wearable pieces of equipment. The next three are basically the classic survival and bushcrafting staples, and that is a hatchet, a knife, and a saw. Now, once again, I use these also in the summer, though I usually bulk down with a knife, 
but I can't stress enough, similar to snowshoes, of how much you want a simple hatchet, a simple saw, and a knife. Now, in the winter, really the priority does fit focus more on the hatchet and the saw, and you might even bump up to an axe, depending on your wood harvesting needs. The reason why I say a ha uh, the reason why I say a hatchet all the time is because you always want to have something, uh, and so if you just say an axe, you might not really carry that on you all the time, but a hatchet you should always have on you, and so you might bump it up to an axe if your needs are greater, but the hatchet is pretty darn good at getting a fair amount of firewood, and of course having a saw, once again it doesn't have to be the largest, but something like a god boy or a big boy that you could reasonably and easily carry on your body to harvest wood is going to be a big deal because obviously in the winter even with the best insulation and the best snowshoes you will still get cold so having the ability to create fire or create warmth it truly is what it is is very vital so these two absolutely have the most precedence but of course having something like a larger reliable fixed blade something like a falcon even a1 an se6 a crk pacific even a cold steel srk is going to be important now i did choose the a1 here because in the winter i think the a1's a little bit one of the better choices because of the fact that it has this rubber or thermo run handle and so what that handle really does for you is one when you're using things like mittens it is a little bit better to get grip with because you're not dealing with a slick surface the surface has a grip to lock into the mittens but also at the same time it is a temperature neutral handle so it's not going to get as cold as something like micarta or any other material really uh, rubbers in thermo run naturally are just more temperature neutral so they're not going to be ice cold if you hold them of course they're not going to stick to your skin you know if you hold them with a bare hand or something like that so overall it's a pretty good choice for that reason so anyways those are some of the tools that you want to keep in mind of course for winter bushcrafting or winter survival practice and those are some of the pieces of equipment, things like snowshoes, really solid mucklucks, and really solid mittens will keep you very warm and above the snow. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.